What's good? This is Lake Show's finest redux. I'm your host, Charles Ryan, a.k.a. Chucky Atkins, a.k.a. Chuck, a.k.a. Charles Barkley, a.k.a. AKB24 status, a.k.a. Kobe24MP, a.k.a. yours truly, the biggest Lakers fan ever. So tonight we played the Golden State Warriors. I'm going to talk about this for maybe 30 seconds. It's hard to win a game when literally... You don't have three of your three point cards. That's all I'm going to say about it. I mean, the Lakers are five and nine without LeBron. That's not really too bad. I mean, some people may have expected, you know, what to go two and like shit. I don't. I don't know how people can be upset and think we're dropping when literally we're just a few games behind the four, the five. The Rockets lost today to the Seventy uh, Sixers, so we're not in terrible shape. I am very fortunate because I somehow managed to get a ticket to the Lakers Timberwolves game for a relatively good price for the premier section. And I don't understand how people don't understand that Lakers PR is going to announce Rondo will play for sure. And I'm not saying LeBron will play, but I'd say he's probable. If he's not probable, it's like doubtful. It's better than out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So there's not really too much to talk about. I mean, the Lakers are 5-9 and nine without LeBron. It's all good. We'll see what happens. I think Rondo has only played 14 games this whole entire season. So it should be fun looking looking at him, seeing how he's doing. I mean, he broke his hand like three times in the past couple years. He broke his hand with the Bulls, if you remember, against Isaiah Thomas in the Celtics series when Isaiah's daughter, uh, I'm sorry, sister, passed away. So... There's a lot to look forward to, and I'm really excited um, for tomorrow. Like I said, this Warriors game was more of a flush the toilet type game, you know, where you take your team into the locker room, and you literally just stare at a toilet, and you flush the goddamn toilet. Because I've done that before when I played high school basketball. It's not fun. It smells bad. But you'll make it. So I'm not going to talk any more about that game. I'm not going to talk any more about Clay. I'm just going to talk about my story time today. And my story time... It's pretty good, and it won't be as long as others. Other ones have been like 20 minutes. This one's going to be brief, and uh, let's dive right into it. But first, let's do some house cleaning really fast. Um, You may have noticed I posted a video recently called um, Mamba Mentality, 20 years of Kobe Bryant in 20 minutes. Um... I'm an editor, Uh, I'm an editor, I've been a head editor before, I've internshiped as editors for places in Los Angeles, so I I really try hard in videos like that to uh, do my best, Um, so yeah, I mean, there will be more, there will be more stuff in the future like that, I can promise you that, but um, really right now it's just focusing on Lakers Redux uh, podcast or YouTube video for until uh, June. Hopefully they make the finals, but we'll see what happens. Um, I said this before. I will say it again. I will get my iTunes license back and renewed on February 15th. No more later than that. That's the All-Star game. I'm actually going to the All-Star game. I hope fucking LeBron plays, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so... I also want to say real quickly as well that SoundCloud um, link will be up soon as well. And there's other places like Stitcher and all this stuff. I don't know if I'm going to even do that. I'm probably just going to keep it simple. SoundCloud and iTunes. Um, I'm not a monetizer in the sense of, you know, let's get it every, everywhere. Let's make sure the Google searches default to this, that. I'm not really, that's not really my uh, forte. So, the story time is going to be the story time of when I, as a young blood, met um, Luke Walton as a eight-year-old. I mentioned the time when I met him before uh, it was outside at the convention center. You know, I mentioned that, but I went prior to that. I went to two Laker Fiestas, which by now you should know what that is because I mentioned it in the previous video. 
But uh, the first time I went, I was very lucky, and I met Kareem Rush, Devin George, Luke Walton, Brian Cook, Sasha Vujicic. And I was really unlucky because I didn't get a chance to meet Kobe. <laughs> I think Kobe might not have even showed up, but it was really nice meeting them. They were super nice. Um, this is kind of like a you know Dave Chappelle type thing, where he literally, in his first Netflix... Um, his first Netflix series show literally said, I'm going to tell you all four times I met OJ in an hour. (laughs) I'm kind of doing that. I met Luke, I want to say three times. I could be wrong. And speaking of which, with the Luke Walton, Richard Jefferson thing, when I saw Richard at a game, I like yelled at him. I was like, I went to your camp. And of course he didn't remember me. (laughs) So sad. But uh, let's focus on that story time. So I went with my friend named Dylan, who I played uh, rec ball with at Tarzana when I was like eight. Tarzana is in the valley, for those not aware. Um, I live on the west side right now, so pretty far. Um, and ironically, it's uh, down the street from Nick Young's high school, uh, high school he went to. I think he went to, I don't know, Taft? No, I could be wrong. It doesn't even matter. The point is, it was close to Nick Young's high school, and Nick Young was, like, there when I was playing rec ball. So I'm such an idiot, and I should have gone the whole time. But so I went with my friend Dylan, and I was kind of, like, starstruck because this was the first season where the Lakers acquired Gary Payton and Carl Malone, and they didn't show up. (laughs) I took a picture in front of um, uh, a big poster of Gary and Carl, but... Gary and Carl weren't there. Shaq wasn't there. So that was kind of cool. So you're kind of getting the secondary players. You're getting, you know, Kareem, like I said, Brian, Cook, Luke. And this is Luke's Luke's rookie season. Um, This is Luke's first season in the league. He gets Shaq, Kobe, Carl, and Gary. He's their rookie, all four of them. That is a huge responsibility. And you know what? Maybe Luke Wald would not be the coach today if it was not for those opportunities of being around four first ballot Hall of Famers. So, yeah. (laughs) All right, so let's get into what really happened there. Um, I had, like, a little basketball to sign. Yeah, I had to have all them sign. And Dylan had, uh, like, a Laker flag to have them sign. And then I actually went with my two sisters, and they had, like, a Laker... Like those Laker car flags, you know? The ones you put on the windows. And we were all like running around trying to get them to sign things as fast as possible. (laughs) I thought that was so funny. You know, because you had limited time. It was a private thing. It was like in a private little area. But it was, you know, it it wasn't like being outside with Luke Walton smoking a cigarette type thing. It was more like a, (laughs) a private little black booth black like booths area and like you have to quickly talk to them type of thing so we were frantically running around and of course I only got one autograph of my basketball and everybody else outplayed me my own family and friend they outplayed me got the most autographs but what's cool about the Lakers fiesta is after the fiesta there was a game and I don't remember what game it was this is fucking like I don't know I said 2008 no 2006 I don't know I was eight years old, so it was 2003. No. Sorry, my math isn't working right now. If it was Gary's first season, that was 03 to 04. Okay, so I was eight. Yes, 2003. (laughs) Gotta get that math down. I'm actually taking a multivariable calculus class right now. What the hell's wrong with me? (laughs) No, but... um. So I was really upset that I didn't get all the autographs. Ironically, all those items were mine that got signed. They were all mine, and I kept all of them. Dylan, I don't know why Dylan didn't bring something of his own. Or maybe he did, I don't remember. But I kept all of them, but I, you know, I was like frantic. I was like, Luke, you gotta sign this. Hey, you gotta sign this. And you know what's funny? It's because all the times I met Luke Walton, I still doubt he even knows me. I mean, I could show him the pictures of me with him, but... Yeah, it's probably no-go on that. I'm actually going to attach one of those photos to this video. You'll see it in the, uh, you know, when I do photos. Um, There might be some audio after. You never know. You'll have to wait and see. But, um, 
yeah, so to recap, this Warriors game was just terrible. Uh, DeMarcus was trash. Uh, fuck him. And uh, we're, we're going to look good next time we play them. I think we play them... We play them two more times, but I'm not sure when. I know we play them at the end of the season, like in the final 10 games or so. So that final stretch might be a huge push, and that might be a factor. Because you never know if the Warriors will be resting um, all their, you know, five all-star key guys, you know? So I'm looking forward to how we perform against them in the future. Um you know, obviously when we beat them on Christmas, LeBron went down, but we had other weapons. We had Lonzo, you know, B.I., and Rondo. When there's no Lonzo, no Rondo, no uh, no LeBron, the playmaking has to come from nowhere. And I said I wasn't going to talk about it, but I'm going to say one quick thing. I saw Svi play some point guard. That was really weird because I don't remember him being a point guard at Kansas. And you want to know why I don't remember? Because I hate college basketball. It's the worst sport in the world. So corrupt. So corrupt. All right. I'll see you. Take care. I'm so happy about the Rams, by the way. I've said this in the past. I'm a Packers fan, but I just thought it'd be good for Los Angeles, you know. Very proud. Third year in Los Angeles. You're, you're in the Super Bowl. That's crazy. Um, yeah. I got $50 in the Rams, though, with my friend. He's from Boston, so for, of course. Got that arms race thing going on I think I'm gonna win I, I don't understand you can't go with the young legs versus the old legs come on we got this we got this guys and when I say we I mean the only time I say we is with the Lakers I never say we with anybody else I don't know why I just said that that's blasphemy okay take care have a good night I'm sorry about the loss but on Thursday I will be at the game I hope all you guys are there in spirit I will I will channel your spirit to the stadium. I will channel your spirit to Derrick Rose, hopefully not breaking his leg. We will see what happens. All right, take care.